Lord, thank you for your continuous provision upon this family. Thank you for the hands that were used to create this meal we're about to eat. And may we always be grateful for the things you give us. Amen. Amen. So, what do you have planned today? Not much, just school. You're going to Bible study at the Johnsons later, right? I don't know, I don't think I can. I have to help out with this after school dance. Oh, what dance? The senior prom. I didn't know you were helping to plan a dance. I wasn't, but Alex asked me to help, so. Alex, you can tell him you're busy this evening. You're going to Bible study. Dad. No. Jim. I don't like you hanging out with him, you know that. Well, I already promised him, so. I don't care why, I said no. Why do you always do this? He's a homosexual. He's a Christian, he's just like us. No homosexual is a Christian, or a follower of God for that matter. Mom. I said no. He's always trying to get you into the wrong things. They're kids, Jim. It's up to us to decide what they're allowed to do. Alex is struggling and he's trying to bring Connor down with him. I won't let that happen. You're not staying after school today. Be home by 3.30. I'm out of here. Bye, Connor. much lately. Yeah, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, me too. I've been planning the dance and it's been taking up all my time, you know. I'm sure. I got those flyers that you wanted me to make you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. These look awesome. Thanks. I gotta go. Well, the meeting's about to start. Would you maybe you want to join me? Uh, not today, Alex. I promised this girl I'd go to lunch with her. Oh, well, if it's about you not being gay, it's okay. It's a gay-straight alliance. Alex, you can be straight. I get it, okay? I'll talk to you later. Hey. Come on. Do it for me. Please? Morning, friends. is always a good time. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone, this is Connor. He helped us on the flyers. Hey, hey, Connor. We appreciate your help. You know, we've heard a lot about you. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, no problem. So we're uh, talking about our experiences coming out. So what's new with you, Matt? Well, I decided to come out to my dad last week, and he hasn't said more than three words to me. He left this book on my bed, and it's called men who struggle with their sexual identity. You know what, he doesn't get that it's not gonna change who I am. I'm gay and I'm not gonna start pretending to like girls again and do that whole thing because you know when I did that, I felt like I was living a lie. Absolutely. So how about you, Connor? Uh, this is your first time here. What's your view on homosexuality? I don't know, I was raised Christian, you know, Baptist, and 
My dad's a pastor, so religion's kind of always been a big deal. What is it now, Jim? So you found a paper for a school dance. So what? He's involved in lots of things at school. That's something most parents would love their kids to be a part of. It's the gay straight alliance that's putting it on. He's not planning the senior prom. <sighs> You know, Jim, you need to stop accusing him of doing something wrong. He lied to us. Since when isn't that wrong? Well, I realize that. And maybe it's for this exact reason. You know, acting like this is not going to bring the two of you any closer together. It only pushes him farther away from you every time. It's tearing our family apart. You know why I do this. You know about Alex. And I've seen them together, Alex and him. I've seen how they act, and it's not normal. Do you call this normal? The fact that he's planning a gay dance? Okay. What exactly is normal to you, Jim? Huh? Is, it, is it putting on a dress shirt and a tie and going off to church? Or, or putting on a jersey and some cleats to go play some sport? See, that's your idea of normal, Jim. It's not everyone else's. That's what men do, Sarah. <sighs> that's what men do. It just goes to show you nothing ever changes. But what's that supposed to mean? Okay. Do you remember when Connor was nine years old and on the baseball team. And season after season, you would drag him to sign up again. And he would cry and cry and cry. But what did you do, Jim? You forced him to play. So what are you going to do now? What if Connor isn't the child you wanted? What if he doesn't fit your idea of what the perfect son is? 